In this section, we are going to discuss ranges, iterators reinvented. This video describes rationale for ranges. Iterators are conceptually just pointers. They point to a single element of a container. Internally, they may be classes with complicated logic, but externally, they look and behave like pointers. As you might have noticed, most algorithms from standard library take pair of iterators as an argument. Few algorithms take this pair and a third one, assuming target container is large enough. A pair of integers is conceptually a range. A range is something that has a beginning, an end, and can be iterated over. So it is one level of abstraction higher than iterators. What you see on this slide is a natural method of composing functions. The return value of one function is directly passed to the next one. Functions are executed starting from the innermost to the outermost one. This works as long as each function in the sequence takes a single argument of the type that is returned by preceding function. Algorithms from standard library are also essentially function templates. The problem with them is that you cannot compose them like this since most of the time they do not return anything that can be directly used by another algorithm. Let's see an example. Well, that's a lot of code to say not that much. It boils down to, given a range, take even numbers, multiply them by two and print them. Please note that two new containers are made in the process and possibly a number of heap allocations. C++20 std format is used to print out the vector and the join function is borrowed from the FMT library. We'll see later in this section how to achieve the same using ranges. Let's see another example of a simple manipulation of a standard container. We have an integer n that denotes how many elements we need to process and processing function square fn. We'd like to generate 10 squares starting from zero. As you can see, to achieve this, we need to call two separate algorithms. The results are copied from the original vector, so a memory allocation is most likely required. We repeat twice a call to algorithm with a pair of the same iterators. Ranges were designed to fix these syntactic deficiencies and to allow of composing transformations in a lazy way. This means, amongst other things, without unnecessary copies.